Here I'm demonstrating how to make Latvian fringe. You turn your work to the wrong side and join the yarn you want your fringe to be made from. You, in, you go into the stitch and wrap the fringe around your finger twice for a single fringe. Keep it a little bit away from you and bring the two loops through. Hold on to that stitch you just finished as you carefully bring your index finger out of the fringe. And again, wrap your index finger twice and grab it with your right needle and bring it through. Now, if you wanted to do a double fringe, you would wrap your finger two times, excuse me, three times, and that will give you a double loop, which you can see right here. Now, I've found that these loops can easily pull out. So as I work about every fourth stitch, I will put these on a circular needle so that they cannot pull out. And also you can use this to uh, equalize the length. Some people will use a sizing piece like a little ruler or a piece of plastic to hold against the fabric so that their fringe is more uniformly sized. Here I have a small piece of plastic that is acting as a sizer for my fringe. And I'm working two colors. So every four stitches, I'm changing the color. So I'm going to bring my green to the back now to strand, like over here. I'm gonna take my yellow to the right side, which is the far side. Now I'm going to wrap the yarn down the front of the plastic, up the back, and my right needle will go into the stitch and under the yarn of the fringe. Normally when we knit, we would go over, but in this instance, we're going under so that it twists the stitch and it makes it easy for my right needle to then pick up the top of the stitch from the row below, and that locks that fringe into place. Again, I'm wrapping the yarn in front of the plastic, behind, and I enter the stitch knitwise, throw the yarn over the needle, or the needle goes under the yarn, and then before I take the stitch off the left needle, I pick up the stitch in between the two parts of the fringe and tension. Again, in front, behind, and push your plastic up so you don't lose it. Uh, go into the stitch and under the working yarn And then you scoop between the two parts of the fringe to pick up the white stitch from below. So you're not actually adding any length in this technique. You're just adding fringe.